Ah, uh, it's official. Mac computers are no longer secure. That article that you just saw on the screen is the reason for this video. But basically what's happened is there's a malware called Xloader that's been adjusted for the Mac operating system and its vulnerabilities. And that's important because traditionally what's happened in environments and just overall is people have this false sense of security about Apple computers and that they're secure and they're immune to vulnerabilities. And you know that's true for a few reasons, just because for one, if attackers see that the market share of PCs and Windows computers is roughly double of that of Apple computers, it's not really worth their time and making you know malware for those kind of computers when they could just go for the low hanging fruit of the Windows computers. So that's definitely one thing. Also, a lot of companies don't you know, have a lot of Mac computers. It's just better for them to have PCs because for instance, with Apple computers, you know, the cost is gonna be higher. The ecosystem is enclosed. So it's a little bit harder to do certain things. And then just from a staffing standpoint, it's harder to repair Apple computers compared to a PC. They might not have the parts or the capability to do that. Whereas with a PC, you can just rip it open and you can throw some more RAM in there, a different hard drive, you can wipe it clean, you know, whatever the case is. So there's definitely reasons why Apple computers aren't as frequent in organizations. But if we go ahead and we go back to this article here, so you can see this, and the link is in the description. So if you wanna read the article, I highly recommend it. But if we scroll down here, we can see, now this actual malware has kind of taken on a form from a previous version, but we're looking at things that are gonna do things like collect screenshots, monitor and log keystrokes, download and execute different files. And that's really important. So if we keep scrolling down here, and again, go ahead and read this article, check it out, and you'll learn more about it. But essentially what happens with this malware is it's controlled from a server. So some attacker out there can control any system that has this malware on it. And again, I'm not gonna go super in depth into this particular malware because you can read the article and you can see it for yourself, but it's really important that you pay attention to what kind of malware is out there and vulnerabilities that exist. Because one thing as cybersecurity and technology professionals that we have to pay attention to is what's secure today is not necessarily secure tomorrow. We find vulnerabilities and zero days and things like that all the time. That's why when you have a vulnerability scanner, you're always updating the definitions because things change over time. We find out things that we didn't know before. And that's true with this. And one th thing that's really important here is that what happens if attackers really start focusing on Apple hardware or Mac operating system computers? Well, that opens the door for a lot of interesting issues because if we're not focusing on that kind of system or that kind of hardware, and we're just letting it kind of go, well, that creates an issue. And that also comes down to knowing what's actually on your network. Do you know what's actually on your network or are you just kind of you know, winging it, doing it ad hoc? So it's a very interesting article and I highly recommend that you check it out. Now, question of the day, what are some tips that you have in order to secure Mac operating system computers? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training, resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services. And I'll see you next time.